Thomas Bunn. Once upon a time in a quaint, picturesque village, nestled in the heart of the countryside, there lived a young boy named Ethan and his faithful companion, a golden retriever named Max. Theirs was a bond forged in the fires of time, a connection that transcended mere pet and owner. Inseparable, they embarked on a journey through life's gentle rhythms, finding solace and joy in each other's company. Ethan's family home was a cosy cottage with a thatched roof a welcoming haven set amidst rolling meadows and lush woodlands. It was the kind of place where the warm golden sunlight streamed through the windows, casting dancing patterns on the creaky wooden floors. The aroma of freshly baked bread and wildflowers greeted every visitor. In this idyllic setting, Ethan and Max spent their days exploring the wonders of the natural world. Mornings in the village were a spectacle of colour and melody. Ethan would rise with the dawn, a soft smile playing on his lips as he watched the sun's rays filter through the sheer curtain. Max, ever watchful, stirred as well his tail wagging with delight as the promise of a new day beckoned. Together they would step out onto the garden where dew kissed flowers glistened like precious gems. Their fragrant secrets whispered on the breeze. The village had a pristine river that meandered through the countryside, its waters mirroring the azure sky above. It was here that Ethan and Max began their morning ritual. The boy casting stones onto the water, each skip marking the beginning of a brand new adventure. Max watched with attentive eyes, occasionally barking in joy as a ripple spread across the surface. Amidst the serene backdrop, Ethan and Max built their special bond. They communicated not with words, but with a silent understanding that ran deeper than the human-dog relationship. It was a kinship rooted in love, trust, and the pure essence of companionship. The sunlit hours of the day were their canvas, and they painted with adventures. They wandered through meadows, the tall grass tickling their legs as they explored hidden paths wildflower-covered hills and secret clearings in the woods. Max's boundless energy was the perfect complement to Ethan's youthful curiosity. They had often chased butterflies, their laughter harmonising with the soft rustling of leaves. As the afternoon sun reached its zenith, they would return to the village, dusted with the earth's fragrant offerings. A refreshing break awaited them in the form of a picnic prepared by Ethan's mother. Under the shade of a majestic oak tree, they feasted on sandwiches and fruit, sharing bites and the simple pleasure of each other's presence. Afternoons often saw them seeking the tranquility of the village library. Ethan loved to read stories, and Max would lie by his side his head resting on his paws, watching as the boy turned pages and got lost in the world of words. Max too had a favourite story, one where he was the hero, bounding across fields and chasing invisible foes. In the evenings, the village seemed to take on a magical aura. The amber hues of the setting sun set the world ablaze, painting the sky with the softest pastels. The 
the two friends would make their way to the village square, where they often joined the locals in watching the sunset, the collective silence serving as an ode to nature's wonders. Nights in the village were a symphony of gentle sounds, crickets and frogs ride with the backdrop, and the soft rustle of leaves in the wind was a soothing lullaby. Ethan and Max would return home, where they shared secrets under a star-studded canopy. As Ethan drifted into slumber, Max would keep watch, his warm, protective presence guarding his friend's dreams. Years passed, but the bond between Ethan and Max remained as timeless as ever. As Ethan grew older, his adventures took him farther afield. He ventured into the world always with Max by his side, their bond an anchor in the ever-changing sea of life. Together they explored mountains, cities and beaches, making memories that they would treasure for a lifetime. One summer, when Ethan was on the cusp of adulthood, he decided to embark on a grand journey. He felt the call of the world beyond the village, eager to explore new horizons. Max, as always, sensed Ethan's desire and stood faithfully by his side. Together, they packed their bags, filled with dreams and a sense of wonder that had never dimmed. Their journey took them to faraway places, exotic landscapes and bustling cities. They marveled at the Eiffel Tower in Paris, gazed in awe at the Great Wall of China, and stood in the shadows of the pyramids in Egypt. But even in these incredible locations, it was their moments of quiet companionship that Ethan treasured the most. In a cosy cabin in the Swiss Alps, they watched snowflakes fall, blanketing the world in white. In a small cafe in Venice, they watched gondolas glide through the canals. In a tranquil garden Kyoto, they sat beneath cherry blossom trees, their petals falling like delicate snowflakes. Through every adventure and every challenge, Ethan and Max remained unbreakable their connection unwavering. Max had aged gracefully, his golden fur now flecked with grey, but his eyes remained bright and full of love. And Ethan, having grown into a fine young man, had learned many lessons from the world, but none more profound than the simple joy of being in the moment, just like Max had taught him. Eventually the day came when they returned to their beloved village, The cottage stood there, just as it had for generations, with the same thatched roof and warm, welcoming embrace. They found solace in the familiar sights and sounds, the river, the meadows, the library, and the old oak tree where they had countless picnics. But the time had a way of catching up with everyone. Max's age was becoming more apparent with each passing day. It pained Ethan to see his once vibrant friend slow down. They both understood that the inevitable was drawing near and faced it with a shared sense of acceptance. One evening as the sun began its descent, painting the sky with brilliant oranges and purples, Ethan and Max sat together on the porch, gazing at the horizon. The village square was alive with a hum of laughter and children played together beneath the waning light. It was a scene that captured the essence of life's eternal circle, a reminder that even as one chapter closes, another begins. Max rested his head on Ethan's lap, and Ethan's hand gently stroked his loyal friend's fur. They exchanged a silent conversation words unnecessary between kindred spirits. It was a farewell filled with love, understanding and gratitude for the lifetime of companionship 
they had shared. The following morning, as the first light of dawn crept into the sky, Max peacefully drifted into a slumber from which he would not awaken. His journey had reached its end, and he left behind a lifetime of memories, love, and unwavering friendship. Ethan, his heart heavy with grief, buried Max in the garden they had roamed together for so many years. He placed a simple marker under the oak tree. The shade of the oak tree they had picnicked beneath countless times. A place where Max's spirit would forever be part of the landscape they both loved. Ethan mourned the loss of his dear friend, his tears mingling with the rain that fell softly from the sky. It was a difficult transition, for Max had been his confidant, his companion, through thick and thin. The world seemed a little less colourful without his faithful friend by his side. But life moved forward, as it always did. And just as the sun rose and set each day, so do the memories of the time together continue to illuminate Ethan's heart. He carried Max's spirit with him, and the lessons of loyalty, love, and the joy of simple moments became the guiding stars of his life. In the village, tales of the boy and his dog became legendary. Max's legacy lived on not only in Ethan's heart, but in the hearts of everyone who had heard their story. The village children would often gather under the old oak tree, where Ethan would sit and tell them stories about the loyal golden retriever who had been his closest friend. And so, the bond between Ethan and Max endured, transcending the boundaries of time and space. In that peaceful, picturesque village, their story remained a testament to the timeless love that could exist between a boy and his dog. It was a story that reminded everyone that in the embrace of true friendship, the ordinary moments of life became extraordinary, and the bond of love could endure forever. The world continued to spin, and Ethan's adventure took him to new horizons. He always carried a piece of Max with him, in his heart, and in the lessons he had learned from the timeless bond. The golden retriever's presence was a guiding light. A reminder that love, loyalty and companionship were the true treasures of life. The boy and his dog, inseparable in memory, continued their journey through the pages of history. A story of unwavering friendship and the enduring power of love.